as I was saying, there's different ways of training Tai Chi, and it all depends on what it is you're trying to achieve. Anytime you're paying particular attention to the, the movements themselves and trying to work on correcting errors within the body, the easiest way to do that is to really slow the form down because it's at that point that you start to really understand where the errors are. It's very easy at a much higher speed to sort of like just slip through each of the movements and you can make it look beautiful and dancing and it's all flowy and it looks lovely. But if you've still got those errors, so there, you wouldn't necessarily notice that my body was a little bit more upright. So my head is not going straight down through. Can you see the angle of where my head is? It yeah. really needs to be there. So it's going straight down through the leg. If it's there, the hip position is incorrect and I'm already leaning back. So if someone was to apply pressure to the body, I've got nowhere to go. I cannot actually transfer and transform that weight straight down through my leg because this leg is already taut because I'm at this strange angle. You don't pick it up when you're moving quick. Okay, so from here, as you come round, you don't necessarily pick it up. So you're, you're doing the movements, but you can fudge it. So we do it at different speeds. So an intermediate speed is so. That's you allowing yourself to sort of go through the movements, soften the body, relax and release as you go through. Slow speed, really working on strength, really working on posture. You're looking to correct those errors. A faster speed would be trying to get a feeling of, of the gin, of the flow and the, the, the ebb and flow of the wave, if you like, as you're going through each of the movements. The danger with do, just doing fast is you tend to start to get very expressive. So you start to put more into the movement than actually is required. So you need all three of them to balance it out and create proper Tai Chi. Um, and then when you come to do the intermediate speed, you've got more of an effort or less of an effort to actually get things correct as you're going through and you start to feel it better. You also start to create more um, awareness of how you're using your frame, if you like. So you're not leaning too far forward. You're actually you're feeling where the legs are as you do it.